Alright guys, today I have a brand new video out. This is my top 10 roller coaster elements I've experienced. Now, I've experienced a ton of fantastic roller coasters, and they all have great elements. Sadly, I could only pick 10, so this was really hard, as you could see, um, putting together 10 elements that I thought were my favorite. There's a lot that I wanted to get on here, but I couldn't. Let's just get into this. Number 10 is a maneuver that really surprised me from this coaster. This is Tempesto's slow-mo zero-g roll. Oh man, this thing is incredible. It goes so slow, and you just feel like you're going to fall out of your seat. It is giving you phenomenal hang time. I don't think there is another element I've experienced that has gave me this much insane hang time. Now, I'm sure there's others out there that are kind of like this, but this one, there's just nothing other like this. It has an insane slow motion feel to it, and it's awesome. Number nine is an element coming from one of my favorite roller coasters I have experienced. This is Intimidator at Carowind's Hammerhead Turn. This thing was very strange because of the way it maneuvered. Now, what it did was it just hauls you straight through it, twisting you up into it. So, it's very forceful. And when you just turn around, it is so forceful. Like, you feel the pressure on your body. And it feels like it's going so much faster than it actually is. And this element was just insane. You have to experience it for yourself to understand its full power. Number eight is an element that I just started recently appreciating more because of a strange experience I got recently. This is Grizzly's Drop. What happened was I recently went to King's Dominion's Haunt and I got to ride Grizzly for the first time at night. And I did it in the back row and I they barely put the lap bar on me. So when it dropped... It was insane. I got flung out of my seat, and it felt like it was going so fast. I honestly felt like I was going to fall out, and it was amazing. This drop is just fantastic. Whether it's in the front or back at night or day, it's just amazing. Number seven is an element that I've always been a fan of ever since I started coming to this park. This is Dominator's Loop. What a fantastic and memorable element. It's very iconic. In fact, one of the most iconic pictures you could get at King's Dominion. And it's just amazing. You're going to get a lot of hang time depending on if you're in the front or the back row. But you still get it, and it goes very fast. It's a forceful element. This is probably my favorite loop I've experienced, and it is also one of the largest out there, so that also makes it cool, and this is just great. Number six is one of my favorite inversions of all time that I have experienced on any coaster. This is Manta's Pretzel Loop. I cannot even explain how intense this maneuver is. You have to experience it for yourself. You're going to start off by flying up and then diving straight down, flat on your back, super low to the ground. And it is so forceful. You can feel the G-force as it hauls you over. And then you just jolt straight back up into the sky with that flying sensation. This is just a great element. I honestly think this is what makes the ride so special, and I love it. Barely making the top five is one of the best drops on any hyper coaster, in my opinion. This is Apollo's Chariot's drop. Wow. This thing takes your breath away. It is a phenomenal drop. Now, the coaster itself is only about 170 feet tall, but the drop is 210 feet tall, so it's about 40 feet larger, and you just drop it subterranean, and it is awesome. Now, the drop may not be that steep. However, it is a very smooth and forceful drop. If you're in the back row, you just get launched out of your seat. It has some cool air time, and this is a great drop overall. Coming in at number four is my favorite inversion of all time. I thought it was a little better than Mantis Pretzel Loop. This is Afterburn's Batwing. Holy crap! This is an insane inversion. This is easily the most intense part of this ride. And Afterburn's intense, so that's saying something. You literally dive straight up, and when you're going under, your legs go straight numb, and it is insane. The whole entire maneuver is intense, but just the fact that you're forced under, under itself, your legs go numb, and it is the craziest feeling ever. Coming in at number three is a fantastic element. I can never get over this thing. It's Volcano the Blast Coaster's first launch. This is the most intense launch I've ever experienced. You start out by slowly moving 
and sluggishly going towards it. And then out of nowhere, it takes you by surprise and just launches you, I think it's 70 miles per hour, straight down a straight section of track through the volcano. And then you go into a Great Bang turn. This launch is very intense, and it is probably my favorite part of the whole ride. And this is mainly the reason why I think it's the number two coaster at King's Dominion. Not only is this my number two element I've ever experienced, but this is also my number two coaster I've experienced. This is Fury 325's drop. Now, a lot of people talk about this drop, and everyone has mixed opinions on it. Some people say it's just okay, or not as good as people say it is. And then there's other people who say it is, like, one of the best drops in the world, and I'm one of those people. This thing was insane. I was in the back row, and I got flung out of my seat, and I had no words. It was just... You have to experience it for yourself. It is a great drop. It is very fast and intense, and you're just going straight down at super high speeds, and it's awesome. Coming in at number one are actually a few elements, however I consider them all the same. These are Intimidator 305's bank turns. These are unbelievable. You can't even explain them. I got off, and I was like, what were those? I, I don't even know. They're so intense, and they whip you so hard. It's not painful, but it's very cool. And the first turn, you're actually going to gray out because it's pulling you that way so fast. And sometimes it's rare, but you can even black out. And I have before, and it is like the coolest feeling. These are insane whippy turns. They never get old. You're going so fast. I'm pretty sure over 80 miles per hour through them. And they're fantastic. They don't ever get old. And they're so whippy. And that is why I love them. But thank you guys for watching. This was my top 10 favorite roller coaster elements I've experienced. Post your comments down in the section below. What's your favorite roller coaster element you've experienced? And don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, coaster fans, I will see you later.